What's up guys, Josh, also known as iWarcraft here, and welcome to WoW Logic Episode 2. Alright guys, so today we're going to be covering our next race in the Alliance, and that is the Night Elf. This race is my personal favorite. I know I said I like the humans a lot, but nothing can beat the Night Elf in my opinion. So the Night Elf is the one and only elf race in the Alliance, and every good MMORPG that takes place in medieval time has the elf race. The Night Elf is an elf race, but... You know, it has a little twist, they're like, kind of like dark elves, but they're good. They love nature, they respect nature, that's, that's pretty much their god is nature. They respect it with all their hearts, and you know, it's just a really cool race and really cool history and stuff, and I really, really, really like it. Now, if you do choose the Night Elf for your character, you're going to be starting in Taldrassil, more specifically Shadow Glen. This area of World of Warcraft is my personal favorite, and that's why I love the Night Elf so much, is their starting area. It is amazing, the graphics, the scenery, just everything about it. It's really magical, really peaceful, and just all in all really, really cool. And I'm sure if you pick it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's just an amazing starting zone, and it's really a great way to introduce yourself in the World of Warcraft, which is, in my opinion, one of the most graphically brilliant games in the world, and one of the most amazing adventure games in the world. So your home city is Darnassus, but Darnassus is kind of dead nowadays along with Ironforge, so you're going to be going to Darnassus pretty much just to use the port into Stormwind. Um, that's what I do. It's a little bit of a hassle compared to humans who can just walk right into Stormwind, but um, at the same time, I really think the starting area and its scenery is worth it to uh, be a little further away from Stormwind. So yeah, the Night Elf doesn't get the advantage of starting extremely close to Stormwind, but like I said, the, the starting area is like... I would describe it as like a magical forest. It's really amazing. Um, the graphics are just epic. That I mean, that's how I can explain them. Just epic. I love that area, and I I just like I I enjoy going back there just to walk around and check it all out again. All right, so Night Elves can play seven out of the ten classes in World of Warcraft. That being the Death Knight, Hunter, Priest, Warrior, Druid, Mage, and Rogue. So they're not as diverse as the humans, but you can still pretty much get all of your basic needs out of the Night Elf. So typically in PvP and World of Warcraft, you're going to see a lot of Night Elf rogues. Reason being is their racial traits. They're all extremely good for rogues. The first one we have here is Shadow Meld, and this is pretty much a secondary stealth. So, when you use Shadow Meld, you're probably going to use it as, you know, let's say your stealth's on cooldown, and you're in a big fight, and you're about to die. You can hit sprint if you're a rogue, sprint out of the battle, get out of combat, and boom, pop Shadow Meld, and you're stealth again. You can't move in Shadow Meld, but enemies still can't see you, and it's really, really good. So the next racial trait I really enjoy is Wisp Spirit, and this really helps when you die in a dungeon or your team wipes or whatever, and you have to run a really long way from your death if there's no one there to resurrect you to get back into the dungeon. Wisp Spirit really helps. What it does is it highly increases your speed when you're dead, so you, you can run across Spirit World, which is the world when you're dead, a lot, lot faster than a human, and it's really, really helpful. So the next thing is nature resistance. Not all too important, but let's just say uh, night elves have better defense against like druids or something of that matter. And um, you know, again, it's not that amazing, but it definitely helps. Okay, so the last racial trait they have, and this one really helps every single class, is quickness. And what this does is allow the nimble night elves to uh, escape ranged and melee attacks. They might even dodge them completely. So this really helps every single class in the game. And uh, you know. That's one of the reasons why a lot of people choose uh, Night Elf, and for rogues this is also really good because they already have an increased amount of, you know, dodge rating, and adding the quickness on it just makes it even better. Alright guys, so that wraps up the Night Elf for today and episode 2 of Wild Logic. Um, if you're enjoying the series, just hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment on the video, tell me what you're liking, tell me what you're not liking, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you in the next episode, I Warcraft, out.